Doctor, I thought you had left. I just have a few things to take care of. Would you please take care of Lori? Of course, Doctor. Thank you, Miss Willenberg. I will be back for you in one hour, okay? Okay, Daddy. <laughs> John, would you please tell me where all this noise comes from? Oh, it's nothing, sir. Some patients got out of their cells. What? Don't be alarmed, Dr. Jekyll. We've got everything under control. It's just that with all the damage from the last storm, we're in over our heads. Fine, but keep me informed about how things are going. I'll be in my office. Of course, Doctor. Ether. Hmm, this might come in handy. Oh my god, sir. You must come right away. Edna, please, calm down. Where is my daughter? Oh, sir. There was nothing I could do. He would have killed me. Who, Edna? What happened? It's Burnwell, sir. One of the patients. He kidnapped your daughter. Oh, sir, I I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Where is he? Where is this Burnwell? I don't know. The patients started to attack the personnel. Everybody was so busy, and Burnwell was there. He seemed very calm. He never caused any trouble before. Well, go to the reception and call the police. But the phone lines are dead, sir. With the storm and all. Then just walk over there. And you? What are you going to do? Find Burnwell. No! Stop! I beg you, don't do this! Help! Are you all right, Spencer? Well, I would lie if I said that everything was fine, but I'll manage. Do you have any idea about what happened? Burnwell put a stimulant in the patient's meals. A stimulant? I don't know how he got hold of it, but it was very effective. In a mere minutes, the patients became completely enraged. I also remember Burnwell talking to them shortly before, probably to get them even more excited. Do we know who certified him? Burnwell? Um, yes, it was an attorney, uh, a big man all dressed in grey. I don't remember his name, but I could look it up. Please do. Meanwhile, I will try to get hold of Burnwell. Um, wouldn't you rather wait for help? With my daughter in their hands? Certainly not.
I must use the crank to lower the cages.
Dr. Jekyll. I'm so delighted to see you, but at the same time I'm terribly disappointed. Perhaps it's my fault. Your daughter isn't that important to you, after all. Daddy! Burnwell, don't! Oh, I got confused and pushed the wrong victim. Well, now that I have only one left, I can't go wrong, can I? What do you want? I want... I want to see Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde is dead. It's up to you to bring him back from the dead, and you know it. Listen, I will give you anything you want, but... So, what are you waiting for? I demand a meeting with Mr. Hyde. If he agrees, your daughter will live. You have my word as a man. One last thing. This meeting has to be private, if you see what I mean. Goodbye, Doctor.
This lab and everything in it belong to the past.
I will leave you now. You disappointed me. Is worse, Mr. Hyde. By God, how impressive. Does it hurt? Who are you? I am the one who will help you to get your daughter back. You are the one who certified Burnwell. You are the attorney. Your perspicacity is awe-inspiring, Dr. Jekyll. But what I do is of little consequence compared to what you will have to perform to get your daughter back. I'm listening. Have you heard about the Book of Zohar, Doctor? It is a very valuable book. It was once in the possession of the man I am representing. This book has been stolen from him. I want you to get it back. Or else you will kill my daughter. Exactly. Now, I want you to listen very closely to what I will tell you. To complete your mission, you must first get hold of three metallic pieces. These pieces are carried by three persons who should arrive in London shortly. Who are they? At this moment, they are without any doubt the most well-protected persons in the world. This is why you will have to proceed cautiously and one step at a time. First, you will go to a Chinese brothel. This brothel is led by a certain Mrs. Wong, but the real owner of this place is called James Yang. At the moment, he is in possession of one of the three pieces. He plans to reach the docks in a barge called Spirit of Law. Just make sure he never sets foot on this barge. One last thing, Doctor. My client wants to get a hold of this book as soon as possible. This is why you will have till dawn to bring it back to us. Past this delay, I will assume that you failed and your daughter will suffer the dire consequences. Good luck, Doctor. <laughs>